Hey, good evening, students. Today's topic of discussion is a small but important topic: the obstetric formula. Now, you need to know the obstetric formula to be able to answer certain types of questions in exams. What the examiners do sometimes is they give you an obstetric formula, and then they give you an X Y Z complication with it, and then they ask you the management. Now, even if you know the management of this X Y Z condition. it becomes difficult for you to answer because you don't understand the obstetric formula given here so it is very important for us to be able to derive an obstetric formula from a given obstetric history and vice versa to know the obstetric history from the obstetric formula provided there are two ways in which obstetric formulas are presented one is the simple g p a l system and the other is t p a l now these two are slightly different this is simpler to understand and easier to decipher this is a little difficult you have to understand but once you understand the basics behind these you will easily be able to understand what a particular obstetric formula means and then the uh, and then answering such questions will be much easier now in the g p a l formula G or gravida stands for number of conceptions. Now this includes the current conception. G is simply the number of times the patient has conceived or has been pregnant, irrespective of the weeks of gestation when she delivered or aborted or whatever happened to the pregnancy. If it is a clinical conception, it is taken as gravida. Second is P, which stands for para here. para means the number of previous pregnancies which were carried beyond 28 weeks the number of times in the previous pregnancies she crossed 28 weeks now this does not include the current pregnancy l is the number of living children she has currently a represents the number of previous abortions now there are certain variations apart from gpla some people also write d which denotes the number of deaths among her among the children born to her and e or simply ectopic will indicate the number of ectopic gestations now let us see this question and let us derive the gpal formula for this female a female currently pregnant for the fourth time that means the number of conceptions including the current conception is four so she is gravida four with the following obstetric history derive the obstetric formula first pregnancy was a term single ton delivery healthy live born baby second pregnancy was preterm twin delivery at 34 weeks of gestation with two healthy live born babies and third was a spontaneous abortion while the fourth is the current pregnancy so here p or the number of times she has crossed 28 weeks is the first pregnancy and the second pregnancy so that becomes 2 the number of living children represented by l is first live born baby born to the first pregnancy second was two healthy live born babies from the second preterm pregnancy so she has total 3 children a is the number of abortions she has got one abortion history of one abortion the third pregnancy ended in an abortion at 2 months so she is a1 that's her gpla formula now remember in this formula generally gravida is given by the number of p plus the number of a plus 1 for the current pregnancy now para is the number of times she crossed 28 weeks here it is 2 abortions is the, is the number of times she has had a abortions uh, sorry a is the number of times she has had abortions here it is 1 this total represents the number of this 2 plus 1 p plus a represents the number of times she has conceived previously plus 1 is for the current pregnancy so gravida in this formula is given by p plus a plus 1 here also if you see 2 plus 1 plus 1 will be 4 so when you derive a particular formula make sure that this is fulfilled now coming to the next formula or tpal formula here remember the p does not stand for para 
it stands for preterm deliveries t stands for number of term deliveries p stands for number of preterm deliveries this total makes the para which is not represented in tpal formula a is the same number of abortions and l is the number of living children now consider this question derive the tpl formula for a pregnant female with previous one singleton singleton term term delivery two singleton preterm deliveries no abortions and five living children here the number of previous term deliveries is 1 the number of previous preterm deliveries is 2 number of abortions is 0 and the number of living children is 5 so the tpl formula can be simply represented as 1 2 0 5 or with commas as 1 2 0 and 5 sometimes they combine the gravida gpl formula and the tpal formula in that case you will gravida again will be the number of total conceptions including the current conception so she has been pregnant for how many times now one was first was single term term pregnancy then she had two preterm deliveries that's 1 plus 2 3 no abortions so she has been three times pregnant previously and currently she is pregnant so the gravida becomes 4 and in place of p you simply put the tpal formula now remember in this formula we are not representing the para status we are not representing the number of times she has crossed 28 weeks we are splitting that into t and p term and pre term so here you will write this as 1 205 understood or g4 p1 2 0 and 5 now here also gravida should be equal to the number of term deliveries plus the number of preterm deliveries plus the number of abortions plus 1 for the current pregnancy in this case term is t is 1 p is 1 a is 0 sorry p here is 2 p is 2 a is 0 and 1 for the current pregnancies this comes to 4 understood so after you have derived the tpl formula make sure this is fulfilled now coming to the same previous question to represent it as tpal formula the same question people currently pregnant pregnant for the fourth time again this will be gravida 4 now let us see what is t p a l here t is term single term delivery that is 1 p is preterm twin delivery she has delivered two babies in her second pregnancy but this pregnancy is a single pregnancy only this was one pregnancy one conception which resulted in two two babies so i uh, some people represented as simply one or some will write it as 1 plus 1 a is 1 and l is 3 now you can simply put this as 1 t for t p a l you can simply put it as 1 1 1 and 3 that is a single a term pregnancy a preterm pregnancy and abortion but three living children what happens here is you cannot make out which of the pregnancies was twin so to simplify this what some people do is they put a 1 plus 1 for twins so t is 1 p is 1 plus 1 it is not 2 p of p value of 2 so we are talking about the tpal formula again where p stands for preterm now here if i say p is 2 that means she has had previous two preterm pregnancies two times she was pregnant when she delivered prematurely while a p of 1 plus 1 indicates that she was pregnant only once but she had a twin delivery out of it or a t of 1 plus 1 will also mean that she was pregnant for a single time but she had twin deliveries out of it so t is 1 p is 1 plus 1 a is 1 and l is 3 and if i have to represent it with gravita i will write it as g4 p1 1 plus 1 1 and 
understood here also if i have to derive the g it will be g is equal to t plus p plus a plus 1 the t is 1 p is in fact 1 only 1 plus 1 we are writing because it is a twin delivery a is 1 and plus 1 abortion sorry 1 for the current pregnancy one abortion and one for the current pregnancy gravida is finally four understood this so here in this formula twins will sim twins or triplets will be represented with one plus one or plus one for a triplet whatever the number of babies you get out of it understood thank you very much hope this clears your doubt if you have any doubts please post in the comments